What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the 2022 edition? 2023, maybe, if we make it over there? Anywho, so, a cool trick about this whole daycare thing is that if you walk a straight line right here where this blue-haired lady is just in the way and you just press the, uh, the select button, you go up and down, you are bound to get a lot of experience points, especially when you're trying to level up Pokemon over at the daycare center. Now, include this with a little bit of a speed button, and yeah, you're going to get yourself a lot of levels. So, we got Togepi back from uh, the daycare. As you guys can see, it grew about six levels right here. It still has its moves and all that stuff. So, that's a that's a good enough move set, or that's a good enough move or item, or not, not item, but level to get it to where it needs to be. I'm gonna put it in front because, well, yeah, happiness. And yeah, we kinda need to go straight to, uh, we kinda need to go to, to the hair the hair place uh, right here because we kinda need to make it happy. That and go straight to Route 35. Why is everybody in my way, god dang it? Now, forgot about this area right here. This is, uh, this house right here is where you go to the name raider. You know, that's definitely a place you need to go if you wanna change some nicknames. Uh, that excludes Pokemon that you got from trades. That's why we kind of needed to get away from, uh, what's his face? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we needed to get away from, uh, uh, Rocky. So, let's go right ahead and spiffy up one of my Pokemon right here. Let's give this to Togepi. And, bam! Togepi is now all happy. There we go. Okay. So, let's see, what is next? Yes, we're going to be going straight up to Route 35, so we can level up just a little bit more. Mainly because, well, yeah, we, yeah we're going to be going in for a battle of our lives, and that's not... Yeah, this is not a battle that we, we, we kind of want to slack off on with leveling and all that stuff. So, we will get to you in just a little bit. We need to get up here because we still have a Pokemon egg and all that crud, and we're going to be battling a whole bunch of trainers. Are you going to the gym? Me too! Well, what do you know? Alrighty! Here we go, taking on Picnicker Kim, and she is coming out with a Vulpix right here. Alright, Togepi, what have you learned? Let's go with a swift attack, and... Oh, a quick attack right here is hitting us. So here we go, swift attack from Togepi. Let's get it. Oh, that hits it a little harder, so... Let's go with a metronome and see what happens. Come on. Tackle attack. Wow. Okay, so it packs a wallop in. Really? Really? You're gonna roar on us? Good gravy. Okay, but you chose the wrong person to mess with, so here we go. Razor Leaf. And yes, I actually put Chico in the daycare as well and did the same little method, and bam. It worked. And oh, crap baskets. Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay, so... Yeah, we are burned now. Wow. Uh, oh, wow. Why did I... Okay, you know what? That's on me. That's on me. <laughs> For not putting your headbutt or tackle. Okay. What's next? Oh, nobody else. Okay, so we, we won, and... Yeah, Chico is burnt. And we don't have a burnt... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We do have something. Uh, nope. Yeah, we don't have... Yeah, okay, so we don't have a uh, burn heal. So we're going to have to refrain from using Chico for a little bit. Let us move on and battle some trainers here. I'm going to show my girlfriend I'm hot stuff. Really? Okay, let's see, let's see what you can do, Mr. Hot Stuff. Alrighty, so here we go. Camper Elliot wants the battle. Coming out with the Sand True. Definitely a Pokemon that I could have used against, uh, or I could have you know, had a Chico beat. So, let's go straight for a metronome, and here comes a defense curl. And, well, let's see what happens here. And this is a... Okay, so this is the right move. And that right there will trap Sandshrew for a little bit. There we go. Okay. Whirlpool, what's up? How's it going? All right, so let's go with the swift attack here. Togepi, Togepi, really doing its thing, and well, here comes a Swift, and that wasn't too effective, but look at that, it gets double the damage. That's right, okay, so we might have to switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight for Lucky. Let's go. 
All right, Lucky. Come on, buddy. And here comes a sand attack. So that right there is going to hit us. Yeah, it's going to mess us up a little bit. Here comes a scratch. Sand true. Seriously. And here comes the water gun attack. Can it do it? And it does. Mm-hmm. There you go. Say goodbye to Sand True. Oh, Lucky almost got it. And, well, here comes a Pika Blue. Or Meryl. And let's go straight for, uh, what was it called? A Fluff Bolt right here. <laughs> trying to trying to figure out what the names are. Alrighty. So here we go. Fluff Bolt. Fluff Bolt. Thundershock. And this one right here. We'll actually do them pretty good. Okay. And here comes a Tail Whip attack. Holy crud. Okay, so defense has fallen. So let's go one more time. Thundershot for the win. And there you go. Alrighty. And, well, look at this. We increased the level 18, which is always good. And he, okay, Fluff Bolt has grown to level 18 and learned Thunder Wave. Another good move. Alrighty. You're not that stuff, man. I was humiliated in front of my girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> you should listen to what she says about you. My boyfriend's weak, so I can't rely on him. <laughs> then why are you still with him? I'm just asking. Okay, so here we are digging on Brooke. And she is coming out with a Pikachu. Oh my god. Pikachu, how are you doing? Alright. Yeah, this is not going to work. Let's go straight for... Serpentera. Another Pokemon I put into the daycare. Serpentera. Mm -hmm. And here comes the quick attack. Yeah, that is not going to work. Now, I feel bad for doing this. Oh, crap. Okay, so it's going to go strategic on me. Okay, I see how it is. But here comes the Mudslap. You're not that strategic. And, well, its accuracy has fallen. Here comes a Growl attack. Holy bejeebus. Okay, so let's go Mudslap yet again. And Serpentera has done it. Alrighty, okay. And, well, that defeat... Oh, I defeated Brooke, and she's like... Oh my, you're so strong. Well, I guess, I guess she's my girlfriend now. I can't count... I can count on my Pokemon more than my boyfriend. Wow. That's a big wow. That is a huge wow. Anywho, let's continue on right here. Let's see. I've been getting a uh, Pokemon data off of my like, radio. I think I'm good. Hmm. I think you're good. Okay. So here we go. Take it on Kuiper, uh, Camper Ivan. And he is coming out with his Diglett. And Togepi, how's it going? But we're going to switch you out. Let's go straight for... Where are you, Lucky? How's it going, Lucky? And... Uh, well, let's see what happens right here. Magnitude, holy crud! Magnitude eight. This one hits us pretty, uh, pretty good. So let's go with the water gun. Unfortunately, we are still slow. Holy crud! Okay, so here we go. Water gun for the win. And there you go. Diglett has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And there you go. Level seventeen, lucky and. What's next? Oh, Zubat. Okay, so... Yes, we do have... Oh, crap, Baskets. <laughs> I did it again. So, I may have been a little too quick to the trigger. Chico, how's it going? Uh, time to share some experience points with Fluff Bolt right here. And so, here we go. Enough. Fluff Bolt, how's it going? And the Supersonic does not affect Fluff Bolt, so let's go straight for a Thundershock attack. And there you go. Say goodbye to Zubat. Alrighty. And, well, Chico grows a little bit. And, uh, well, here comes another Diglett. Should probably let Chico do this. Unfortunately, it's still burned, so we're gonna... Yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna be feeling this one right here. Okay, alrighty. So here we go. Razor Leaf for the win. Mm-hmm. And... There we go. Diglett has been defeated. There we go, Chico. That's how you do it. And Camp Riven has been defeated. Yes. Okay. Now, I just realized something right here. We do have an egg. We were doing a lot of walking. Let's see what we got. Let's make it sound inside. It's going to hatch soon. 
Okay, so hopefully it actually hatches right here in this episode because, yeah, I kind of needed to. I kind of need the space. And, well, I'm practicing my fire breathing. Hmm. Okay. Here we go, taking on Fire Breather Walt. And, well, Fire Breather Walt is coming out with his magma right here. And, uh, yes, big booty cheeks right there on the forehead. Let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go straight to Lucky right here. Mm-hmm. Let's see what we got. All right, what can you do? Here comes a smog attack. Hopefully that won't poison us. Because if, uh, if it does, then we're kind of messed up right there. Oh, wow, we are... Uh, <laughs> we're poisoned, so... Oh, wow. How are you faster than us? Yeah, okay, so there we go, getting hit by that. Here comes the water gun attack. And that... Oh, crap, baskets. Yeah. Okay, so... We, 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 we kind of need to... Yeah, we kind of need to fix something up right here before we, uh, we, we faint. <laughs> yeah, totally not my episode right now. Oh, crud baskets, okay. Alright, so I think I do have something right here that can actually, can actually work. Mm, okay, so let's go with, let's go with this first. Thought I had, like, a full heal or something like that. And yes, we're hurt. Here comes the smog. We're getting poisoned. Good gravy. And there we go. And, well, let's go straight for a water gun attack. And that missed. Thank you. Alrighty. And there you go. Say goodbye to Magmar. Togepi gets some points. We get some points here, too. And, well, here comes another Magmar show. Let's see. We're going to continue on with Lucky. This time... I... Yeah, this time we should heal our Pokemon. Let's see. Poison Cure Berry. That always does the trick. So there we go. Cure to Poison. And here comes a Smog Attack. I have a feeling that we're going to get poisoned. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Told you! Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so here we go. Water Gun Attack. I hate you, Magmar. You booty-headed mother lover. There we go. Water Gun Attack. And that hits it pretty good. Okay, so we're getting hurt by poison. Again, we're doing the same old thing. And this guy has Fire Punch. Oh my god. So that hurts us pretty bad. And come on, get it all wet. That's what she said. Let's go. Good gravy. Oh my god. So here we go again. Getting hurt like always. Okay, so let's see. Super potions, you gotta love them. You really do. All right. Yeah, we're definitely working for this one right here. And, yes, poisoned. Fire punch. Oh my god, okay. Let's go for a water gun attack. Here comes an ember. Oh my god, okay. So here we go. Water gun attack for the win. And there you go. All right. Okay. And that gives us a nice amount of experience points. And yes, you got scorched. And we got to press this button real quick. There we go. Because we were about to battle some other guy right there. So let's go right ahead and give an antidote to this guy. And what else? We got to... Yeah, potions, potions. You got to love the potions. So let's go right here. Potion right here. And... Let's give another potion to Chico right here just in case. Let's see, let's do that. There we go, okay. Yeah, training your Pokemon is a tough work. Behold my graceful ball dexterity. Hmm. Huh. Never mind, okay, so here we go, Juggler Irwin would like to battle. And yes, he is coming out with a level two Voltorb. Okay, so that's that's what he means. This, this should be easy for Togepri. And that right there takes out Voltorb. And, wow, we're close to getting to level 18. Here comes another Voltorb, so... Let's see. Let's go straight for another Swift. I think they increase by, like, four every single time. Or maybe two. I don't know. And there we go. Voltorb defeated. And bam! Level 18 took a beat. There we go. You gotta thank the, uh... <laughs> 
You gotta think of the daycare for this one, and well, Togepri is learning a new move, Sweet Kiss. Let's go ahead and take away Growl, and bam, Sweet Kiss is now ours. And well, he's gonna be coming out with another Voltorb. Let's continue on right here. Let's get Serpentera a little bit of work. Alrighty. Alright, Voltorb. Look like a Pokeball and all that stuff, but yet. You're not as strong as one. So here we go, Mud Slap. And yeah, that tackle attack won't do anything. Yeah, we are a tank. There you go. And wow, it didn't defeat. Oh wow, okay. Seriously thought that it was going to defeat it, so. Here we go, Mud Slap for the win. And that's how you handle that. And that's some good points right there. Voltorb is going to be coming out again, so let's continue on right here with Serpentera. And, well, Screech Attack hits its target. But, but really, are you going to defeat me like that? Not really. And, wow, that nearly defeated Voltorb right here. Let's try this one more time in this Tackle Attack. <laughs> you lowered my level, or you lowered my defensive levels by four. I don't think it worked. So there we go. Serpentera has won. And there we go. Erwin has been defeated. Yes. Okay, so that is that right there. We still got a few more trainers. Actually, let's see. Let me let me go heal up my Pokemon right here because uh I kinda kinda uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm not even going to heal. I'm just going to go in here. First things first, let's go ahead and just uh, use a repel. We don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And this guy is going to just ambush us. I'll go anywhere if my bug Pokemon appear there. Okay. All right. Bring it on. So here we have Bugcatcher Arnie like Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he is going to be coming out with a Venonat right here. And yes, this Venonat is a little tough, so let's go right ahead and switch out. Let's go to Serpentera. You can't stop us. Okay, Serpentera, let's do this. And here comes a Tackle Attack. That was not effective at all, but here comes a Supersonic. Probably should have equipped Serpentera with a with a bit of a bitter better right there, and well, yeah, we're gonna get hurt right here. Holy crud! All right, let's try this again. Come on, no confusion. And here you go, Serpentera headbutt. That almost takes him out. So now we're gonna have to screech him. And oh crap, baskets! I just realized something. I just realized something. Oh my god. Uh, I have a rock type move that I have not, I have yet to use, and. Yeah, okay, so here we go, rock, rock throw, and that is super effective against bug types, holy bejeebus. You see? Oh my god, and well, we nearly grow to level 17 right there. Yeah, you shouldn't have lost like that. <laughs> okay, and because of that win, our mom's gonna call us, she's like, hi, how are you? I found a useful item uh, shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry, it's in your PC, you'll like it. You know... We still haven't gotten the item that she bought the last time, so we're probably gonna have to like check up on that sooner rather than later. So let's go right ahead and go right here, grab this. We found ourselves the TM04. I think that's Roar. No, that's not Roar. Let's see what it is. Maybe it's a useful one. Let's see. TM04 is Rollout. That right there is a very powerful move. And let's see. Who can use it? Let's see. Rollout it. I think Rollout is a ground type move, and would you look at that? Lucky, Serpentera, and Togepi can all learn it. That is going to be a tough one uh, to actually pick, but I think one of these, or I think Serpentera learns it. What kind of balls do you use? Huh. I think Serpentera learns it by, by leveling up. I gotta check this one out right here. Alrighty, okay, so here we go, taking on a Pidgey. Uh, actually, hold on just a sec. What's up, Cam? <laughs> Alrighty, so, let's see. We're gonna go back here. Let's go straight to Fluff Bolt. Let's not ignore our buddy. And, well, here comes a Gust Attack. 
And that one is a critical hit, but not super effective. So let's go straight for a Thundershock right here. And bam, just like that, Pidgey has been defeated. Oh, yes. And oh, look at that. Okay, so what is next right here? Pidgeotto. Let's continue on right here with Fluffolt. And Fluffolt, meet Pidgeotto. You may have defeated him a, a few uh, episodes ago. And, well, here comes the Thundershock. It feels so good to have your Pokemon listen to you for once. And, well, look at this. It is now paralyzed. Okay, so Pidgeotto, you are now mine. Let's go straight for a Thundershock right here. And just like that, we have defeated another Pidgeotto. And that right there nearly grows Fluffball to level 8 or 19. Yes! Okay, so I think I've defeated everybody right here. I think it's time to go back to Goldenrod because, I don't know. And the Repel has worn off, so yeah, let's go back to Goldenrod right here. Uh, let's see. Is there anything I need to do in Goldenrod? No, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and, and ride back to Goldenrod on screen because I have a feeling that... Okay, so like I was saying, guys, I, uh, I kind of want to do this right here because... Chances are we might have that egg hatch right before this episode, and uh, you know what? We kind of need to get it to, to hatch right now. That way I can empty up some space. So, here we are back in Goldenrod City. I think the next adventure will be... We will have to go straight into the National Park. Kind of want to do the National Park uh, bug catching contest. So, yeah, I think that's probably what we're going to be doing right here. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm just, uh, you know, I'm going back and forth, trying to freaking, like, trying to awaken this egg right here. I want to know what Pokemon it is. It's making sounds inside. It's going to catch Toon. Like, how soon? Seriously. How soon? Not so soon. I don't even know. So, let's go right ahead and just go up and down and see where, like, see how long it takes for this Pokemon to actually hatch out or something like that. Come on! If you could just, like, if you could rub it on the top like a genie's lamp, and you know, it would be so easy. Come on. Seriously? Get out of my way, ding it. Okay, so, here we go. Going up and down, back in Goldenrod City. Going away from Goldenrod City. Oh my god, okay, so... Yeah, let me, uh, let me get back to you guys in just a little bit when it actually hatches. Okay, so it took us another five minutes to actually get this Pokemon hatched, and let's see what it's, a uh, what's inside. And, BAM! Say hello to Smoochum, guys. Well, look at that. Okay, so Smoochum. It is the pre-evolved form of Jinx, and no, I am not going to nickname this Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this new Smoochum right here. So, how's it going? Ice and Psychic type. That is a very, very good typing. And I am tempted. I am very, very tempted to actually have this Pokemon on my team. But as you guys can see, Smoochum is a pretty good baby type Pokemon right here. Does have some good moves. Pound, Lick, and uh, Dizzy Punch. And uh, yeah, the typing right there alone it's tempting me to do something right there. So, we'll find out soon enough what will happen. As you can see, my team is actually pretty good. And, uh, well, I kind of want to know what happens next time. So, in the next episode, yes, we will be going into the Bug Kenshi Contest. The National, uh, the National, uh, whatchamacallit, the National Park. Get to see what's all, what that's all about. And, uh, we'll see what else happens. Thank you guys again for watching. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, click on the little heart button right there. If you guys want to join, that way you guys can see exclusive videos for, like, Pokemon Silver and other games. The button's right there on the side on my profile and all that crud. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.